guys it's your girl miss ferrari we're back at it again with another video so today is pretty simple we're going out for brunch so this is gonna be a quick get ready with me this is a very simple look from start to finish you know you guys are gonna get to see how it's in my hair my entire face y'all gonna see my outfit at the end of the, the video and we also gonna be vlogging the brunch hello if you are new here thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching um we're gonna get straight into it we're not gonna do too much talking okay if you guys are not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me right now or after you watch this video or look down in the description box below you guys are gonna see my instagram my tiktok and everything so definitely follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel all that good stuff you know we're gonna get into this video um the only thing i gotta say is just this look was so effortless it looks good we not looking like we you know doing a whole lot okay this is very simple it's so easy if you follow exactly what i did you can achieve this look all the products will be down below love you guys so much enjoy the video all right guys in this portion of the video i'm gonna be starting off with my hair I will be talking over this video, so you guys are going to just watch me fix my hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my hot comb, and we're going to run that hot comb through the entire top of my hair. The key to having a slay look is to have your hair on flat. Make sure your braids are always flat. So yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and hot comb the top of my hair. I did get this installed by TB Lux Studio, and I will leave down there instagram down below so you guys just check them out so right now i'm just fixing my baby hairs this unit is kind of old you guys so please don't judge me i've had this in for at least two weeks so i've just used my got to be glue for right now because you know like it's gonna work <laughs> so i am just fixing my baby hairs and then i'm gonna move on to my my hair so now I'm going to be sectioning my hair and to flat iron my hair I'll be using the Remington flat iron. I did purchase this from Target. I'll try to find the link you guys and put it down below in the description box. As you can see here I am going section by section and making sure I am straightening my entire head by pieces. You guys one good thing about this flat iron that is just it gets really really hot and it's so good um, it literally makes my entire hair black like bold straight black like, I really do like it but yeah I would really recommend you guys to purchase this flat iron because it's great you know it does what it needs to do. So I'm just going to finish up my hair and yeah, let you guys watch it and we'll move on to the face. You guys, I will list down this product down below in the description box. So definitely check it out um, down below. I love everything about this oil because it just gives it that glow, that finishing look. So yeah, it is 10 out of 10, you guys. It is giving that silk straight back, you know, bust down, <laughs> okay? All right, guys. Um, so we're moving on to the face now that my hair is done and it's straightened. Okay, we love a good bone straight. Okay, so right now I'm about to do my face. We're gonna do something real calm, real cute, and real simple. Something so quick because I gotta go. Okay, I am using the Aquaphor Healing Ointment because it is winter time and my face is so dry right now like it's so dry it literally feels like it's cracking um i like to use this because like it's really good on my face like i don't put a lot though i just put just enough put a little bit on my neck as well oh i feel so good and if you guys know anything that will help with like dry skin Please leave a 
down below because I be struggling, y'all. Like, I really do be struggling. And my face is extremely, extremely dry. And I hate that. So, any tips will help. So, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start with my brows. Um, the way I do my brows, I like to um, brush it upwards. The front of it is going to be upwards and then the end is going to go towards my ears, if that makes sense. So, like I said, the front, you brush it upwards. And then the ends, you brush it towards your ears. That makes sense. So, I'm going to go in with my Arches and Halos Brow Gel. Um, this thing is really, really good. But you don't want to put too much of this because it will have your eyebrows so crunchy. So, you don't want that. So, you're just going to put like a little bit, you know, just a tad of it. Guys, I know I need to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> so, I'm just like look kind of lazy right now but I am due for my nail appointment soon so I'll probably get it done at the same time so I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade this thing is like holy grail like I am literally almost done like as you can see <laughs> and I'm also using their brush as well their um, angle brush with these eyebrows like with me I love when I do like a good arch but lately I don't know what's going on I haven't been able to do my eyebrows the way I used to you know when you stop doing your makeup for a little while it just like never goes back to being the same like ever so I feel like that's what's going on with me right now so basically, I draw a line at the bottom first to basically outline it. Then moving on to the end of the brow, you create your arch however you like it. If you like dramatic, girl, go for it. The more of the arch, the better for me. I love it. Okay. So now, we're going to use some of the products that's at the end. We're going to basically brush it upwards like this. So you really don't even need any more product because you have some on the brush already. So if you follow what I am doing, you'll um, basically get the same results as me. Like I said, you don't need to add any more products to the brush. See? Like, just like that. Yeah, I think it was my brightness. So now we're just going to brush our eyebrows upwards. Brush it up. And then it's time to clean it up. Okay. So brushing, brushing, brushing. And then we're going to clean that sucker up. So I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium beige. I know this color is really, really light for me, but that's what we're going to use today. And get your angle brush. Now we're going to be curving our eyebrows, just like that. I know it is extremely uh, light for me, but that's just how I like it. I like my eyebrows to be very defined, guys. Like Everyone has their own ways of doing their eyebrows, and I feel like you can never have the perfect step to creating the best arch eyebrows. Like, you just have to figure out what's best for you. And, yeah. Even though I shouldn't be using this on the top of my eyebrows, but I like to use a little bit of the product on, um, you know, the product that's on the brush already. Just use it on your eyebrows, the top of your brow. So I'm going in with almond right now, which is like such a, just like at least two shades darker. 
and then I'm using the like top brow. So out of all times, my camera picks now to die. Like that's just great. Thank you. Like. Ugh. Anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm going to be using the flat side and with my setting powder, we're just going to dab it on. We don't want to put too much. So basically, if you just follow what I do, like, you'll basically get it. So. Guys, I don't like to bake for too long as well because I do have very dry skin. And my face will be cracking, okay? So, as we're applying the setting powder, we're also, like, setting it, basically. So, as I'm putting it on, I'm just using a dabbing method. You're just basically adding just a little bit of pressure as you're putting it on. And just like that, you're... You're good. So, now I'm going to use some to uplift my cheeks okay because we want to we want to look sucked up right so add a little bit onto the nose since we did put a little bit of um foundation onto our neck so we're gonna also have to set it right i feel like with my cheekbones like i can leave the powder there for a very long time and not have a problem with it looking so dry but when it comes to underneath my eyes girl it'd be real bad but yeah you see we're already almost done you guys we're almost freaking done Look at that. We already look flawless. Like, flawless. I don't know. Is it just me? Or when I'm, a, when I'm doing my makeup and I'm almost done, I tend to start smiling at myself. Like, as I'm looking at the mirror, I'm like, hmm. Like, I know I look good, but... <laughs> Like, is it just me that does that? Or you guys do that as well? Because I know it can't just be me. <laughs> I'm just gonna like touch it up a little bit. And then boom. So before I put my lashes on and everything, I'm just gonna finish up with the rest of the face. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color 55. And I have my big old um blush brush <laughs> so we're gonna dab it on i love me a good blush like a good good blush and i feel like that is like my perfect color so we're just gonna apply a little bit oh i think i have a little bit too much i think i have a little bit too much oh my god All right, so now for my highlight today, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter. This is, why won't it like focus? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I'm using the Trophy White. Um, it is like my favorite, favorite of all time highlighter. This thing just does something to me. Like, whoo. It just does something to the face. What other good highlighters you guys use? Like, I would love to know. I want to switch up my um, my daily routine. I want to get some new products as well. But I'd be so skeptical of trying new things. Like, even though I, it's always good to try new things, but I just feel like sometimes what works best for me is what's going to work best for me. Like, if I like it, I love it. It's been working for years, so I'm going to keep doing it. Even though I shouldn't, and I'm trying to be into the 
you know, being an influencer and everything, um, you have to start switching up. You know, trying different things, different brands. But I just feel like for me, maybe if it works good for me, it's good for my skin, I'm going to use it. Okay? But we are going to switch that up. We're going to change. Okay? I keep looking over here because that's like where my camera um, screen is at. But in reality, I need to be looking at you guys, right? Uh, if you notice that, I'm sorry and I do apologize in advance. But I keep looking at myself with masking. But I have to really like focus on you guys. So now, we're not going to do anything crazy to the eyes. Um, I say sometimes simple is always better. So I'm going to take my the Zulu by Jovia's. Um, this is their palette. So I'm going to be using only one uh, shade from there, which is like the darkest one. It's that one right there. So I'm going to take my little, my little brush. We're not going to put a lot. We're just going to put like a little, little bit, okay? So I just dabbed on a fluffy brush and then I'm just going to like basically apply it all over the eyelid. Like I said, I don't like to do too much sometimes, especially, you know, like it's, like it's not my birthday. I'm basically going on a brush right now. It's not my birthday. I don't need to go crazy. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. Just like that. It gives like the perfect look. And then I'm gonna take another brush and take the orange color, just like a little bit, and basically like put it towards the end, um, just like that. So it gives it like a like a halo effect. Um, yeah, just like that. If you blend it good, girl, like, it's going to look good. I promise y'all it's going to look bomb. So I'm going to use my... Now it's time for us to put on our lashes. I'm just going to put some mascara on. Just like that. So I got my lashes right here. I'm about to just put it on right now. All right, guys. This is it with the um, with the lashes. Um, I'm feeling like red lips today. I don't know why. So I have my Mac uh, Ruby Root. This will be my all time favorite back in the days lipstick. When I tell you guys, this used to be my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick. Like. But yeah, this completes the look, you guys. I'm just going to set my face using the NYX um, Matte and Finish um, Setting Spray. And... Whew. I think I put a little bit too much. Huh. But yeah, this is the finishing look. Uh, hope you guys would enjoy this video. I'm going to show you guys a quick look of my outfit before I go. And yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Alright guys, this is the outfit. I have on this little two-piece set that I got from Fashion Nova. And it is so cute. It goes very well with my lipstick. Okay. I have on my church coat right here my little Christian Dior bag and the scent tonight is going to be Chloe and yeah we're all set we're ready to go and let's have some fun let's have some unlimited momosas we're about to have fun see you guys later hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to subscribe okay bye